Look, I don't know if this is some sort of a special ability that I've had from a young age, but I've never, never blamed other people for anything in my life, good or bad. So many people have this habit that when shit doesn't go their way, the first thing they look for is somebody to blame. It doesn't even matter if you only made a certain decision because somebody else told you. Like, let's say a friend of yours told you, hey, look, there's an amazing stock. You should put all your money in it. And then you end up doing that and losing all your money. He didn't put you in trouble. You did because you chose to listen to him. I've had so many people along the years try to shame and blame me into helping them or feeling a sense of as if I, I owe something to them because they're not being where they want to be. They're not performing where they want to perform and they just found me as the best person to blame because they know I have a good chance of taking care of them. When I see that, when somebody does that shit, and it's so obvious, it's so easy to pick up, whenever somebody uses a language that says, you made me, you put me in this, you did this because of you, I, I just, I, I can't ignore it. I'm not, I'm not going to supplicate to it. I just, the first thing, like before even replying, I'll just say, first of all, look, you're completely in control of yourself. I'm completely in control of myself. Take fucking responsibility. You know, we're in this world together. We need to work together. We need to cooperate. We need to help each other. But nobody's, you can't blame anybody. The only person that can say you did this to me is a kid before he's 16 years old. That's pretty much it. Once you're like 16, 18, fuck you. You're on your own. Take care of yourself. So when somebody tells you, you know, I'm not where I want to be because of you, so you need to help me, ask them, yo, man, where have you been? Where are the books? I didn't see you reading any books. I didn't see you taking care of your health. I didn't see you taking care of your income. And by the way, working from nine to five is not considered taking care of your income. Where were you at? Where, where's the effort? Where's the actual improvement? Like, what, did you honestly expect to grow from taking average levels of action, doing only average shit? I can't stand <laughs> blame, dude. That, that's like, I'm, I'm a very peaceful guy. I don't tend to get into confrontations, arguments. You know, I, I like to let somebody else kind of, uh, you know, have, may, may, you can be right, I don't care. It's not really the point for me. But whenever somebody tries to push my buttons, tries to shame me into doing something, you know, oh, you owe me. You know, even family, I don't care. I don't, oh shit. To anyone so when somebody talks to me in an authoritative voice do this don't do this I'm like look dude you're not my boss like, don't don't talk to me with that voice you can ask me to do something but I'm <laughs> I'm completely obliged not to do it you know I'm giving you favors okay cool stop giving me the favors it's your choice oh I listen to you so now you need to help me. No, no. I, I'm, I can help you because I want to. I don't need to do shit. The only things I need to do are the things I committed to myself that I'll do because they're part of my vision, part of my goals. Look, dude, my goals and my vision were here long before I met you. 
long before I met anybody actually. So don't fall into the fucking blame game, the shame game. Whenever you see anybody try to shame you, blame you, you know, talks to you as if you need, you have to do something because they told you, you have to fight, dude. You have to fight, because if you don't fight, how the fuck are you going to do all that other shit you want to do? How the fuck are you going to live your vision if you're not even willing to stand up for yourself and say no when somebody tries to manipulate you? I don't even care if you have nothing better to do. Say no. Say yes to opportunities. Say yes to cool things. Say yes to experiences. Say no if it doesn't feel right. Somebody's tried to tries to play with you. Um, again, I'm really, as you can see, I'm kind of pissed off because uh, that just happened to me. But um, again, it's not it's not because I really am angry at that person. It's just because I've been fucked with so many times in my life and did shit that I didn't want to do because somebody tried to shame me or manipulate me or play me. And no, never again. <laughs> and uh, I didn't want to filter my emotions. I wanted to really let you know how I feel to kind of experience that. Because if you don't have that militant reaction, like fuck you kind of vibe, then um, at least at the beginning, then it's going to be very easy for people to step on you. Eventually, once you kind of grow into your own, it will be a lot easier to just say no. Just be like, hey, look, you're trying to play me. Sorry, it's not going to happen. But, um, but at the first, yeah, it's okay to kind of, kind of let your aggression out. Because, <laughs> you you, I mean, you really want to punish this kind of behavior. You don't want anybody to, to, um, to engage in that sort of behavior. And you're actually empowering them by, by saying that. You know, you take care of, you're responsible for you, I'm responsible for me. That's not like, look, I said that, so fuck you. It's like, okay, now that I said it, basically it's to empower you. Stop being a fucking victim. Now let's see what we can do to help you. So I hope that kind of helps you. Uh, I know many guys that watch my videos are kind of below 20. So that's roughly the ages where mommy tells you, you live in this house, so you need to do what I say. So you need to look at her in the eyes and say, you know what? I can also choose not to live here. Fuck you. <laughs> and once you say that for the first time, you're going to see how... She's probably going to be very pissed off, but... But after uh, maybe a day or two, you'll see how she completely forgives you. And doesn't uh, fuck with you anymore because now she knows you're a man or she kicks you out of the house in which case you know fuck the bitch <laughs> so yeah i hope this message helps um definitely contact me if you're going through something like that in your life i'd love to help you because i just ate so much shit because of it and uh you know thanks for watching three more videos for today